Welcome. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween, you birthday scorpions. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the week of Halloween. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. This is the week of Halloween. Happy Halloween. It is one of my favorite um, vacations, you guys. Halloween is just one of those times when you can um, manifest what you want. And for the people in this week, um, you are having judgment this year. So if you were born, um, this is just so really fantastic because this week begins on the 28th until the 3rd of November. So if you were born on the 28th, through to the 3rd of November, this year for you is the year of um, justice. And I'm loving this for you guys. And why? And here it is, so justice. So you guys have the year of justice. And trust me, whatever legal issues and whatever situations you have to deal with in this year, you are going to be coming out of it like magic, okay? So this is good because justice comes up for you, scorpions, you scorpions, has been going through so many situations the last couple of years and this year for you is justice so right after your birthday if you were born on the 28th until the 3rd of November you are definitely going to be having justice um, whatever um, uh, imbalance stuff that has been going on around you justice is coming in for you Alrighty, um, so make sure that you're on the right law and seeing whatever injustice situations with money or your business or your project, you're going to be coming out of it. So let's say that people try to do something to your business or your project, you're going to be coming out of it, okay? Because they're going to be finding out what people have done. So this is good. So happy Halloween. It's one of my favorite birthday and happy birthday to someone out there. I know you're watching and I love you. Um, enjoy your birthday. I'm always here for you. Okay. I'm doing the best I can. All right. I love you guys. So let's check out what's coming out for the birthday of people. Okay. So what we have here justice is coming up for the people who were born on the 28 um this is good this is wonderful this is positive so for the people who were born on the 28 whatever um situations you have um legal issues i'm seeing justice is the energy of this year so right after your birthday whatever that is in balance in your life is going to be balanced on the 29th, we have the energy of the hermit. So you're going to be having a spiritual year where you're going to be finding yourself. This is a good year for you because the energy of the hermit comes up and you carries the energy of the hermit. So I'm seeing a lot of you is either going to be bringing out information, um, whistleblowers and that sort of a thing, letting people know exactly what is happening. So the energy of the hermit is here for the people who were born on the 29th. For the people who were born on the 30th, 30th, you have the Eye Princess. So another um, really spiritual year for you people that is coming in because the Eye Princess is coming up and this is your spirit guide. So a lot of you are going to be connecting with your spirit guides in wonderful, positive ways. Okay, so um, this is good. For the people who were born on the 31st, I see transformation coming up for you in this year. So whatever you were going through in 2009, in, in, in this zodiac, the last zodiac year that you have, you're still working out 2018. So now you're beginning 2019. In 2019, there is going to be a balancing of the scales for you. So transition is coming in and this is going to be good. Transition is coming in and this is going to be good. So for the October people, um, um, we are having really, for the October people, it's really a spiritual year, except for the people who were born on the 20, 28th, because the people who were born on the 28th is carrying the energy of the year, which is justice. So you are carrying 
the energy of the year which is justice okay so there oh trying to figure this out yeah there we go justice okay so whatever that is happening to the people who are born under 28 because that is a new start 28 is 2 plus 8 is 10 so for the people who are born on the 29th to the 31st it's all about transition it's all about you connecting with your spirit guides as we move into november 1st we have the energy of the magician so the people who are born on november 1st the energy of the magician comes in okay i wish i could just find the angle for this card energy of the magician comes in for the people who were born on the 31st okay uh, for the 1st of November, the energy of the magician comes in. Now, this is wonderful because what is transpiring is that changes are coming in. For the people who are born on the 2nd of November, you have strength in this year. So after your birthday, it's as if you're going to be finding strength to deal with everything in your life. After your birthday, you're going to be finding strength to deal with everything in your life, okay? So I'm seeing by you... Your spirit guides and your angels and guides are going to be finding strength for the people who were born on the 2nd of November. People who were born on the 3rd of November, I'm seeing you dealing with an organization, an institute, and an organization. Whatever is here and whatever is transpiring is that I'm seeing that a transition is coming in for an organization. Whoever and whatever this organization is, there is the transition. So if you work in a company, you might be leaving the company or you might be getting a promotion or, you, um, uh, or you're fighting for injustice and equality for something that has happened in a company or some injustice and equality. So whatever that is happening and is taking place, definitely. Now, the Empress, I'm seeing a lot of you are going to be working on your abundancy. So whatever is transpiring and happening, I'm seeing you working on your abundancy. And this is going to be good because whatever that is happening and transpiring, you're definitely working on your abundancy. And this is going to be good. So wonderful, positive um, alignments of energy. It is more of a spiritual year. I'm seeing a lot of mother figures. I'm seeing people who have um share um like mother figures uh, that sort of a situation that is coming up and I'm, I, I was looking for my help cards so um money and some of you might start your business in this year because this was what i was saying whatever the issue is and the situation i'm seeing money i'm seeing people who are going to be starting their business definitely um you're going to be making a lot of money um some of you could be just um especially um if you are thinking about starting your own business or going to work for yourself or that sort of a thing it's just going to be fabulous it's just going to be wonderful okay so the empress is the center so a lot of you are going to be dealing with your parents whatever is happening and transpiring a lot of you are going to be dealing with your parents okay so we are going to take we're going to be taking um, a look at each and every one of you guys. Um, happy birthday again. I think it's just so wonderful for you guys. Okay, so let's see what's happening for the people. So we're calling up on the angels and guides for the scorpions. We're having birthday in this week from the 28th until the 3rd of November. Please like and share these videos okay you can always ask for a birthday reading so you see and know what is coming up in the uh, months that is following your birthdays okay so we have justice for the people who are born on the 28 okay all right so what is happening and what is transpiring for the people who were born on the 28 i'm seeing justice and this justice is coming up against um a pisces cancer or a scorpion person because they're in the reverse justice so if you were born on the 28th and you're dealing and you yeah this could be affecting you okay so if you're a woman 45 years and older and you were born on the 28th you could be receiving 
um, on justice or you're not winning a legal suit because you're in the reverse and justice stands up against you so if you're a woman um, four to five years and older I'm seeing justice coming up against you it's not working in your it is it's not working in your favor okay so if you were born on the 28th of November of October I'm seeing justice coming up against you it's not coming in your favor then I'm seeing here what do we have here six of Pentacles I'm seeing some of you are going to be things are going to be balancing out whatever the issues whatever the situation that was transpiring for some of you um, who were born on the 28th in the years before in the months before I'm seeing some resolution and you're going to be receiving help but for some of you ladies 45 years and older or, or people 45 years and older that was born on the 28th I'm not seeing a positive alignment of energies coming up for you because you are in the ver reverse you're coming up in the reverse so that means justice is up against um, you ladies 45 years and older if you have a legal issue if not I'm seeing um, whatever is transpiring is that you are going to be basically trying to align yourself and bring out so you ladies you got to be careful um, whoever is out there you got to be careful because I'm seeing injustice and equality is going to be balanced out okay so if you were born on the 28th and this is only for the people who were born on the 28th now the seven of pentacle the six of pentacles is here so some of you could be dealing also with the energy of the Tauruses, okay and this could be an organization or institute say for some of you um, what I'm also seeing for you guys is that whatever imbalance that has been plaguing your life is going to be balanced. Okay, so congratulations, happy birthday. We're moving on to the people who were born on the 29th, and what we're seeing is that the energy of the hermit comes up. Now, whenever the energy of the hermit comes up in a year, is that you could be showing people their enemies, you could be finding out things, you could be the whistleblower, but whatever is transpiring is that you're going to be shedding light on certain things. Now, what we have here is very beautiful because it is the energy of uh, um, the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands, and this is good. The energy of the Six of Wands is always good. So what is going to be happening and transpiring is that a lot of you show the light to something that was happening and something that was transpiring you have shown the light you have opened up and showed the light to something some issues some situation that was happening and show the light over someone who has done some injustice um thing this is good because what is going to be happening is that if some of you were waiting on some news whatever this news and whatever that you were waiting for it's going to be positive okay and it could be um you young people between the ages of 18 and 45 this is going to be good because what is transpiring is that you're going to be coming out of an issue of a situation that has been plaguing you you're going to be receiving a lot of good luck going through the year right to your next birthdays because by listening to your own intuition and seeing things for yourself you're going to be balancing out a lot of stuff in your life so this is really wonderful really positive really good because what we're seeing here happening is that wonderful positive alignment of energies is coming up and is happening so this is just brilliant and beautiful so for the people who were born on the 29th it's going to be wonderful 29 is 11 a portal is going to be opening up in your life whatever is transpiring definitely a portal is going to be opening up and you are going to be able to connect with the unseen world the spirit world your intuition is going to be very high it's as if your spirit guides is going to be coming in and aligning you with the right energies okay so let's look at the people who were born on the 30th this is good you have the energy of the eye princess now the energy of the eye princess is always a spirit guides or someone who is helping you okay a spirit guides or someone that is helping you and what is happening and transpiring is that 
um i'm seeing a mother figure coming up because this is the mother of the ones some of you could be dealing with an uh if your mom is a aries leo or sagittarius you could be dealing with this person okay and uh, um, this person could be working from the unseen world where they have passed over and still protecting you. Um, it can be a male or a female energy, but whatever is transpiring, the eye princess is going to be unexpectedly um, telling you something or helping you throughout this year. It could be a mother that has passed over, um, that sort of a thing. But this eye princess is going to be there helping you forward okay some of you are going to be finding out something about this person um whoever this person is you're going to be finding out something about this person it's an aries leo or sagittarius four to five years and older now whatever is transpiring this could come up as a master for some of you this this person could come up in your life in different ways different forms but um it has to do with money so you're going to be finding out something about a woman 45 years and older and has to do with money whatever this is all about she could be leaving you some money um, she could have left you some money she's going to be helping you out financially it can come up in different forms because this person is going to give you a strong foundation whoever this person is they're going to be giving you a strong foundation now it can be a legal situation that you have won from this person, but whoever and whatever is transpiring, it could be that this person is passing away. I'm not seeing really debt coming up twice. So this is happening in different ways, different situation, different um, possibilities of issues and situation that is coming out. So you got to be aware of this. Okay. You got to be aware of this. Then we're looking at the energy of transition. So we're looking at the people who were born on the 21st. If you were born on the 31st of October, what is transpiring and happening is there, there is going to be a transition. Whatever, um, the nine of ones, you need to protect yourself in this year. Whatever is transpiring for you people that was born on the 31st of October, you need to protect yourself in this year. This is the nine of ones in reverse, which means you're opening up yourself too much. You need to protect yourself. You need to close off yourself and protect yourself. So this is a year, it's a year of justice, but you need to protect yourself because you are too open. The nine of ones is a completion to a difficult time and a difficult situation that has been transpiring in your life. And now there is definitely going to be some completions that is going to be happening. Changes is going to be happening, but you need to protect yourself. Okay. Love is coming in for you. So the energy of the Ace of Cups is coming in. A whole lot of love is going to be coming in for you guys that is born on the 31st. Um, this is going to be wonderful. I'm seeing new love coming in your life. New people, new situation is coming in your life. And this is going to be good. I'm seeing your materialistic stability is also going to be good. But new love is coming in your life. And what you weren't aware of is that people have been um working on your behalf without you even knowing okay a lot of love is coming in people are going to be showing you a lot of love reconnect with your family because this is going to be good i understand how you feel but sometimes you have to get the truth from the source and not via via because people never always they always drop out something okay so go reconnect a lot of love is coming in from the mother figures whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring a lot of love is coming in from uh like mother figures i'm seeing you receiving a lot of financial stability and help that is coming in okay so that's it for the people who are born in october as we look at the people who are born in november you have the energy of the magician and especially you young ladies have the energy of the magician and this is good so for the people who are born on the first of october you have a uh, first of November I'm sorry first of November you have the energy of the magician so you ladies between the age of 18 and 45 it's going to be a very 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 good year for you so if you were born um uh, 
if you were born um, on the 1st of November, 1st, the magician, it's going to be a really wonderful, positive year for you. The daughter of the cups is here, so that means um, whatever the issues and the situation is, I'm seeing deceptiveness that is coming in. Be aware of this. Some of you are going to be seeing the deceptiveness. You could be deceptive or deceptiveness is coming in. The king of so the king that the, the king of um, swords is here. So you gotta be careful what is happening. But um, some of you are going to be able to work out uh, this issue and this situation. So that is very, very good. So no matter what is happening for you guys, you have the energy of the magician that is working with you. As we move and look at the people who were born on the 2nd of November, you have the energy of strength. You're working with a fire energy this year and you have no regrets. You're working with a fire energy this year and you have absolutely no regrets. And this is good, wonderful, positive. You have absolutely no regrets, whatever happens and whatever transpire. I'm seeing you taking down situation, people and situation. You have no regrets, absolutely no regrets. You're like, you know, whatever it was meant to be, it was just meant to be. And this is good. This is a wonderful energy to carry because... I'm seeing that some of you find strength to deal with some issues that was plaguing you. Some of you were dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. And whoever this, um, uh, it, it was it was basically you were dealing with, uh, um, some of you are Leo, some of you, some of you are Taurus, some of you are Capricorn. Um, and some of you, the energy of the devil, which is an Aries. And it's as if um, Capricorn help you to release you from an Aries. So if you were born on the 2nd of November, I'm seeing um, in this year up to your birthday, whatever issues you are dealing with an Aries, a Capricorn is going to help you to get rid of an Aries, okay? So that is the energy that is coming up. A Capricorn is going to help you to get rid of an Aries, as we look at the people who were born on the 3rd of November, you're dealing with institutes, organization, institutes. You are needing to have balance. Some of you, um, a Virgo could be coming in and helping you out. Some of you have to find a balance to deal with an organization or an institutes. Whoever these people situation is, you're trying to um, find balance to deal with these uh, people situation and issues that is going on and you are like standing strong standing in the forces and standing strong whatever is transpiring you're really really standing strong against whatever deceptiveness in an organization so i'm seeing you trying to balance out situation you people that is born on the third but you're going to be very, 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 very successful. You're going to be extremely, extremely successful because you are dealing with three major arcana, two earth sign and a fire sign, which is the sun that is going to make you be very successful over an injustice and a deceptive situation that has happened and has transpired. I'm seeing some of you, Virgo is going to be helping some of you um, um, and, and a Sagittarian and a Leo could be helping some of you. But um, whoever is born on the 3rd of November, I'm seeing you definitely going to be coming out of an issue because you were dealing with the energy of an Aries that has created so much. This Aries has created so much deceptiveness in a situation and now you're finally coming out. So this is beautiful and this is the readings are going to be longer. Remember to go check out also your um remember to go check out also your um reading of for the um week because you this is your a uh, year reading your birthday reading so go check out also your weekly readings because you have to um this you can always go back and look at and you can always order your own personalized birthday reading where it's going to tell you everything that is happening from this birthday until the next birthday in, in 2020 okay um wonderful wonderful um situation so it's as if you scorpions are clearing certain situations okay 
and especially for the the scorpions who were born on the second and third of um november you're clearing up issues and you're finally going to get rid of an aries okay so this is good so let's see what else is coming out for you guys i'm just going to do um three cards from um the lenora scorpion sun moon and rising sun scorpion birthday scorpion okay so all right so what i'm seeing here i'm seeing some of you are going to be dealing with um parents people in power people that have done some injustice and deceptive situation um um it could be that your parents could be going in the hospital changes is going to be happening but positive changes i'm seeing some of you are going to be coming to a road in your life okay and I'm seeing some of you dealing with people in power. This is the energy. Some of you dealing with people in power. Um, another duality is coming up for you guys. And you are going to be at a crossroad in this year with organization institutes. Eh? It could be you're having issues with the hospital and your parents. Eh? And uh, some of you are going to be dealing with institute organization and uh, um, a choice is going to be coming up institutes the organization a choice is going to come up so it depends on who you are and whatever is happening because all um most of you are dealing with and the energy of this is always about the parents or people that is in power or using their power and it has to do with the organization so this is work this is work this is affecting work huge corporations so it's always government institutes the, um with this one so some of you could be having that legal issues and that sort of a thing and a change is going to come in because this is uh, where the 22 is where you come at a crossroads okay so some of you might have to make some decision because i'm seeing a block but the block that was set is now going to be um released the block that was set is now going to be released and i'm seeing changes coming in so let's say that the last couple of years months you were blocked um because of whatever that was going on you're going to be realized now that the block is going to be released so you could be blocked from work because lies and deception and people try to discredit you or whatever now it's going to be released in this year so this is beautiful ladies and gentlemen i am wishing you a wonderful birthday namaste until next time go check out your weekly readings and remember to um put on your notification button and like and share these videos i love you scorpions have a wonderful year enjoy namaste